Hello everybody, it's Captain Cody Adventure Bro here, and today I decided to start a new playthrough today. Today we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion 3, which is probably by far one of the best in the series if I believe. Like, I think that this game got a lot of good reviews, correct me if I'm wrong. But hey, people are entitled to their own opinions, okay? Not everybody's going to agree with me if I say that this game's great, this game sucks, or this game's got a map, but... Anyway, we're gonna end up going into the game, and as you can see from these two save files here, yes, I did beat the game already, but I decided to actually record it live on camera, even though this is probably not gonna be live commentary. And without further ado, here we go. Yes, I know, game, I know what saving means. It's not like I've been through several generations of games to know what saving means. You know, I always wonder, have there always been buses in Mario? If so, I'm pretty sure Mario should probably use them, so that way he doesn't have to walk all the way to Bowser's castle. <laughs> How is the toad able to see the road? The steering wheel looks like it's blocking his eye vision. <laughs> <laughs> and there's her boy, the green missile himself, Luigi. And also Poltipop from Dark Moon. Sorry, sir, I don't read lines. Say, what an opening. We get introduced to a big gigantic hotel. <laughs> oh yeah. Best part about it. <laughs> we get to sleep here for pretty much a while. I don't even know how long they plan to stay here. Or how long they were planning. Oh, here I go. <laughs> Good old Luigi. Alright, anyway, from what you saw from that opening cutscene, uh Luigi and his friends got invited to a new hotel here, and uh, it seems that they want to make their stay as welcomed as possible. This dude is obviously wearing a mask, looks like a freaking goo monster. Please make yourself comfortable, perhaps you like to sample our selection of beverages. Um, maybe. As long as the dog doesn't, you know, break all your freaking kettles and teacups. That would be nice. Let's go talk to Mario. Where is Mario at? He's all the way over there. You know what? Let's talk to Peach first. Hey, Peach. How's it going? Hi! This Whoa. hotel is so big, Luigi. It's...
This hotel is so big, Luigi. It's gorgeously decorated, too. We're so lucky to have gotten an invitation to come here. Hee <laughs> hee. Ciao! So, let me get this straight. Everybody got a random invitation to come to this hotel and don't even question why they got it? Looks like Mario's gonna feast. Ooh, I like that kid. Hey, bro. Oh. Oh. What the doggy? He ate his cake. Mm. Poor Mario, man. The only one was a piece of cake. Too bad the dog ate it. It's always the dog that eats everything, man. I swear to you. Those toes look like they need some help. <laughs> Princess Peach definitely didn't forget to pack anything. Ah, uh, Luigi, what's up? Oh no! Dude. Poor Toads. Poor everybody. Look how much luggage Peach has. Jeez Louise. I get that she's a princess, but... Was, is it necessary to bring almost everything that you have? To this hotel? Okay, that guy's face looks creepy as heck. Steward? Welcome guest to the last resort. Are you ready to check in? Yes, I am. Thank you. Let's ring the bell. Huh? Yes. Welcome to the last resort. My name is Helen Gra Gravely, and I am the owner of this hotel. I am absolutely delighted that you decided to accept my invitation. That you randomly sent to us, and we are still not questioning why we got it. What did we do to deserve it? You all must be very tired. Come, allow me to show you to your room. Oh, no need to worry about your luggage. Our exceptional staff will take care of it for you. God dang. I'm like, okay. Guys, I've seen people with big hairs and all, but not hair that big. That hair, d oh my goodness. Ha ha ha, you're our VIPs after all. No, Could you please stop no, pouting your freaking whatever it is on your face, near my face? I mean, I'm having a hard time breathing here. Haven't you heard of, uh, preferences and peripherals? Yeah, my peripherals is you to stand 10 feet away from me. We've prepared a first rate experience for you. All the trappings of luxury. You know, that sounds very sus. Shall we get going? You see, I told you. She was too close to the face. I'm surprised that dogs are allowed inside this hotel, you know? I'm surprised she's not like one of those other hotel owners that say, no dogs allowed. Pretty much. Pretty much how it is. Oh yeah. Ah. Hey, Kusama. Mario, Luigi, and Peach's rooms are over here. We've prepared rooms for you, Toads, as well. I hope you enjoy your stay. I. The. The, there's, the, there, I dare say you'll remember it for the rest of your lives. <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay. definitely, because guess what? <laughs> we're most likely not gonna leave. Bye bye. Because we're bye. so relaxed. Bye. Night night. Night night. Wait, wait. Are they going to bed in the morning? Oh, oh wait. This is Luigi I'm talking about. This man always sleeps. Oh. Sit. Goodness. Dude, look at. Dude, let's just be honest here. Would you want to stay in a hotel like this? I'm pretty sure everyone will because of how awesome it looks texture wise and also how great it looks bed wise. Yeah, that's right. Look at that cozy bed. If I put my head in it first thing, I'm going to sleep. Okay, let's explore around this place a little bit. Pretty much, I'm just exploring to give you guys extra content, as always. <laughs> you know, I always wonder what's inside the pulp to pop when he eats things. Uh, does it just stay inside of his body and float around there, or 
does he actually have intestines? We're not gonna go too deep into that topic, alright? Let's check the toilet. Okay, we are not using that toilet. That is backed up worse than a freaking donkey stirred. Okay. You know what? Let's actually let Luigi sleep because our pride and joy has decided to, um, you know, go to bed. Woof! Time to rest! Luigi yeah. understands dog, apparently. Ah. probably gonna read up that book. It's probably his diary, most likely. I always assumed that when I first played this. <laughs> Alright. Chapter 1. Luigi sleeps. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an exciting chapter, Luigi. Very exciting. like Princess Peach is in danger, and also, uh, this table is in danger, too. It's... dancing. Just look at it. Stop that! Now the table went through the table. Now that plant... Now that pole's destroyed. Okay, we're being too destructive. Let's go save Peach. Uh -oh. tell that someone or something has taken the hotel more like this hotel is more like what it seems as you see here okay we got a little uh, little gremlin statue there we got scary faces on balloons you could tell that they're trying to have a Halloween party in here there's a spider and it's a black widow too Ugh, it's big yeah. let's check Mario's oh. room Alright, as you can see here, Mario had him some pizza, well it looks like a big gigantic drink, I probably can assume that's that icy orange from McDonald's. Then he had him some pizza, well we already established that, three slices of pizza to be precise. This man left his shoes all over the place, his suitcase on the floor, it doesn't even part of to pick it up, his whole chair is tipped over. And his bed is messy. Of course. Now that is comedy. Okay. Well, from where we look from here, Mario was gone. And now if we go down to Peach's room or the other Toad's rooms as well, they're probably gonna end up being missing too. Someone has kidnapped them and we are looking for them. Oh, 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 Luigi, of course, doesn't know what happened because he was asleep the whole time. And I'm surprised the ghost didn't kidnap him as well while they were at it. But, eh, maybe it was too late. Now, you see, Peach's room looks more modest. It's more clean. I mean, we have a whatever, a freaking broken parcel. Is that what that is? It looks bented as heck. Okay. Oh. Let's continue on with shall we? Uh four five. Now I do want to mention one thing. One thing I dramatically like about this game is that they brought back the old school controls from the GameCube days, of course. <laughs> kind of so, well, well, if it isn't my most esteemed VIP, I was just on my way to see you. Okay, Mom. <laughs> How Is your room living up to your expectations? Doesn't it scream good taste? Um, yeah, not literally, uh, uh, but. She get in? Oh, I can barely contain myself. You have no idea how much I wanted to accept my invitation. 
much you want to respect. <laughs> much told. Hux? Why is that? I'm sure you're wondering. <laughs> you see. There is someone I truly adore. He's the inspiration for some of my greatest ideas. Like inviting you here. I'm such a huge fan of his. That's why it's so wonderful. I get to introduce you to him. Luigi. You. That's right, Luigi. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Oh, God. <laughs> it's King Boo. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mwah. Oh, surprise, Luigi. It's me, King Boo. And yes, I know that sounds a bit too crazy for this character. But just look at him, he's crazy enough. Might as well give him a crazy voice. <laughs> that old coot had me locked up tight in his lab. <laughs> but guess what? I got out. The hotel owner here was just dying to meet me. So she busted me out. Pretty lucky, huh? Anyway, I didn't think you would actually show up here. I was ready though, just in case. In fact, my vengeance is nearly complete. What do I mean by vengeance? Glad you asked. I'm trapping you and everyone in the little vacation party. In frames. Oh, there, there, Luigi. It'll be over soon. It's time for a family reunion. Boo! Mario, Peach, and Toad oh, have been kidnapped. Ma, no. <laughs> take that. Oh, and there's one more frame, of course. I saved it specially for you. Stay right there and I put it best terrified face, Luigi. This game is over. But the game just started. I just oh, no. to start the game. No, 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 no. All right, here we got a chase sequence here. Pretty much what we do is just run away from King Boo and not get cut or else it's actually game over. Because you know how it is with stuff like this. He is destroying the entire environment. We out of here. Oh no. <laughs> and that is the end of Luigi's Mansion, everybody. Yeah, that was a great playthrough. JK, the game just started. Of course, you would know that if you were paying attention. Okay, so let's begin the actual gameplay of Luigi's Mansion 3. So from all of that, King Boo has returned. He actually managed to escape that painting that Professor E has stuck them in once again and has planted his revenge on us again. So once again, we have to capture this big ghost dude who is probably gonna never escape again. <laughs> Uh -oh, Alright. Alright, so now we continue on with the gameplay here. Death, a freaking light is busted. Luigi is in Ah! Well, those towels fell down. Are these even towels? Yes, they are. Anyway. Ooh, and also, there's a gem inside of here. We're gonna be able to get that later on. Just to point that now before we continue on, I just wanna point out. I probably might not do a 100 percent playthrough of this. Or more like a 200 percent playthrough. I probably plan to capture all the booze in this game. Every last one of the booze in this game, hopefully. If I can, I'll do it. If not, screw it. But the gems... Mmm, the gems are probably just gonna let pass. If I see one, I'll collect it, but... I'm not gonna go throughout the whole entire game collecting every last little thing. For now, this is just gonna be a normal play. But if we do reach enough likes on this video, I probably might, you know... Do a 200% playthrough. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, dog got some donuts as you see there. Anyway, this is just the first level of the game. Nothing is particular. We're not gonna be fighting anybody anytime soon. We just gotta follow Polterpup here until he takes us to our favorite weapon that has been returned. But even better this time. That's right, the Poltergeist G00. It's much better this time. We got the simple basic controls, you know. A to flash, right trigger to vacuum, turn around Luigi. There we go. And then L1 to freak, L ZL to freaking, you know, going back. And we have the new move, the freaking blast off, as I like to call it. I just like to call it a shockwave. Oof, are you comfortable with the control C flint? You're darn right I am. I played the freaking previous ones, trust me. <laughs> and now, once again, we are following Polterpop. Because uh, he's pretty much just our kind of mission guy. Though I can say for me at least. <sighs> we gotta go through all of this again. Alright, so let's flash those rats there. Now, you're probably thinking, Hey, why don't we just open the garage door and escape alone? <laughs> you see why we can't do that now, don't ya? Exactly. Suck up all the garbage here because there's coins in there, and I believe if we go this way, there's secret huh? money in here. Yep. Knew it. Now, anyway, now a lot of people have probably been complaining about this game. I've heard the freaking combat system is a bit too easy in this game compared to the other ones. But hey, it is what it is. You can't really change it now. Well, Nintendo can't really change it now. It's really the main staple of this game. Luigi's face still, bro. Oh yes. I can't tell if he's happy to see that or scared to see that. Probably both. Here's a vending machine here. Gives me money. And donuts. And freaking bags of Doritos, however. I don't know why. Questions have been asked, but have not been answered. And behind here's a chest with lots of gold and money in it. Pretty much, I'm gonna be collecting probably a lot of money inside this game. Just, you know, so I could buy the extra power ups that are gonna come inside the item shop. And so that way, I can freaking at least entertain myself for a while while I'm entertaining you guys. But anyway, keep your thoughts. What's your, what's your guys' opinion on this game? You think that it's actually. Okay, Luigi, stop sneezing. You're about to freaking give everybody the you know. And, but anyway, what's your guys' opinion on this game? You think it's great? You think it's fantastic? If so, comment down below and tell me. What is your favorite part about this game? And what what do you like about this game? And also what you hate about it? Because I'm all up for reviews. And you guys' reviews and comments are what make me understand the true meaning of what is to be in this game. Anyway, here... We got a diamond stuck in there. Not really gonna care that much for, um, gems again. And here we are at the foyer. <gasps> yeah, that's creepy, isn't it? Luigi, Mario, uh -huh. Peach, and Toad have all their faces uh -huh. crossed out. As if they're captured already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And here we go with our first room fight. Ah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Alright, here we go. We're gonna fight against our little ghost friend here. I have no idea what these things are called. I'm just gonna call them ghosts, because why not? Alright, there we go. But yep, that's the combat system of this game. You pretty much flash him, suck him, and slam him all around. This gives insane stage control. A lot of it, too. This is what people have been complaining about. They say that the game is too easy because of that. Hey, watch this! So close. And then you can freaking grab the other ghosts and slam them, too. Pretty much easy mode. Oh, oh yeah. Boom skadoosh. That was easy. Anyway, now. Uh. What we gotta do. Ooh. You see, Polterpup is going up there. We do not go up there. Wow. Instead, we're gonna push that and open up this vault here and also grab this key. Uh. And also. That gem. So, remember, guys, if you plan on uh, getting that gem, put your oh, bumper seat to lift up that table and go through there. But anyway, let's continue on. Anyway, after that, we just had our first encounter with the ghost there, and Luigi is now feeling more scared than ever. As always, hmm. when has this uh. man ever been truly brave? Uh. And there's Professor Egghead, trapped in a painting as well. We need to be able to free him, but the problem is, is if you actually played the last game, Dark Moon, you would know that we need the Dark Moon device in order to freaking, you know, get, get paintings to actually become reality. Anyway, let's follow Poltip up here. Or better yet, let's explore the room a little bit to see if we are missing out on anything, of course. Like free coins. Exactly what I thought. Oh yeah, and there's no run button inside this game. I noticed that. There is no run button inside this game. You pretty much just hold forward and as you yeah. hold forward, Luigi runs a bit huh? faster. So that way, um, I don't know. So that way you can also focus your aim, and also move at the same time. There's probably a bit of gold, nope, cash. And then we go travel down left here, go inside of this room. This, <laughs> that bag of money right there, has a lot of cash. Of course, you probably would expect that, considering that it is a bag of money. I mean, what do you? What else do you expect to see on the bag that has the word G on it? Come on, man. Do the math. Do the science. Anyway, we're gonna check inside this bin here. Seems to be fine. This door, by the way, is blocked off. And now we, okay, with nothing else to do, we're gonna follow a polterpup. <laughs> but first, we need a key, as always. Let's go check back through oh. this way. Huh? Aww. Oh, well that sucks, you can't go back. Anyway, let's see if we can find that actual key. We can't go that way because, again, it's blocked off. Oh. Which means that the key is in this room somewhere. Like, how about behind us? There it is. Alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you pull, if you're all probably wondering why I'm playing this game in particular. Especially when it's not Halloween anymore. I just want to decide to do this out of fun. Yep, that is me. I am Luigi. Don't let the name fool ya. Or the appearance. 
Take that, Chris. Take that. And that. It's just so funny, man. You freaking used them as a weapon. You're, you use enemies as weapons. Oh, yeah. That's almost essential to using someone as their recovery in Smash Brothers. It's funny, man. I, t I tell you that every day. It, it, it is funny mm. whenever I see that. Uh -huh. And the key's gonna go inside the hole. Uh -huh. Boom. <laughs> Forgive me if I play a bit poorly here. Uh, it has been a while since I actually touched it. It has been kind of a while since I touched this game. And, you know, I don't actually um. I don't actually have the common skills to actually play this game very well. But here we have the dark moonlight inside of her. Uh, oh. Hmm? Aha! Aha! Ho ho! Yeah! Let's do it! And... We're just not gonna question where that light bulb went. Oh, yeah! Yep, that's just a little reminder that, uh, you know, we can use this ability to summon freaking oh, stuff yeah. inside of paintings or reel them into reality. However, how the freaking, you know, conspiracy theory works or what's freaking canon about this. Now, with the dark moonlight, we can free Professor Egad! Hooray! Our freaking. Professor and hand helper throughout the whole entire game. Get out of there, Egad. You're not dead yet. Especially with them clown shoes. What type of shoes are those? Ah, if it isn't Luigi, you are precisely the last person I expect to find here. You don't say. Hold that thought. Now is the time to catch up. What matters is you'll do nicely. Come on, Luigi. Get me out of here now! This hotel is filled, is filled to the brim with ghosts. Let's make a run for it. No, 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 Okay, I'm not thrilled about it, but I, Professor Alvin Gad, have an idea. First things first, Luigi, we have to get to my car. Will you take me there? Hey, the new Poltergust G00 you're wearing. You took it out of my car, right? We've got to get back to my underground garage, let's go. Alright, now this is an escort mission, of course. We gotta escort Egad back to his garage. And then also... I guess he's probably gonna, um, Open up his little bunker. Hey, Luigi, take a look over there. Elevator. The elevator will get us to the garage in an instant. Let's hurry up before the ghosts find us. And in three... Two... One. We are running. Done. Wow! <laughs> hey, Luigi, look at that. It's money, and it's lots of it. Even with all the dangers here, I'm sure we can agree that money is still important. The ghost will seem interested in grabbing it. What's the saying? You can't take it with you. Well, I'll definitely want it anyway. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled and grab as much as you can. You know, while you're capturing ghosts and saving your friends, multitasking. How interesting, Egad. It seems that you are also the Mr. Krabs. Actually, what am I talking about? Luigi's the Mr. Krabs. He wants all that money. And all the elevator keys are missing. Pretty much this here is the level select of the game. You go up from floor to floor, and pretty much just, you know, go on from there. 
Hmm, a mystery for later. I suppose go ahead and give that B1 button a push. Well, you know that King Boo freaking planned ahead because he obviously did not want Luigi to go all the way to the top of the floor where he is. If that was the case, this game would be over in two seconds, I guarantee it. Axie, no. Axie, yes, it can be. He defeated him without Luigi before. It didn't seem like any of your friends were trapped on 2F with me. They must have been taken to one of the floors higher up in the hotel, which means, yeah, we're going to need those elevator buttons. Yeah, no duh, you get. If this wasn't a hotel with a mastermind inside of it, what kind of freaking person would put him on B1 on the floor? That would be too easy. Wouldn't you agree? Adventure's no fun if it's too easy. Words by Sonic the Hedgehog. And also, Luigi got afraid of a painting. Ooh, but there's a... There's a gem inside of this painting, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Now that... That's an easy gem. I do not see how anyone can miss that, so... Good luck for all you travelers out there. And right here we have a luggage ghost. The handler ghost, actually. This ghost is different from the other ghosts. He will start throwing, I believe, suitcases at you. Yep, knew it. And pretty much what you gotta do is freaking knock the stuff out of his hand and then flash him. This is what I believe is the first boss of the game. Pretty easy. Not that hard. You see, he's right there. Move him. And then suck him up. And pretty much it's a repeat here. But yeah. There he is right there, picking up that suitcase. And he is done. Easy boss, man. And we have two elevator buttons here. They look like... Now... I just want to point out real quick. If you look closely at the elevator buttons, do they look like elevator buttons? One... They are way too big to be inside of Luigi's hands, or if inside the freaking holes, and two, they look like screwdrivers. It's like if I freaking got a screwdriver, I can use that to freaking screw in the loose freaking screw inside of my braces. Like, come on, man. I don't, ha I don't wear braces, by the way, that's just an example. But let's pick them up anyway. It's floor one and floor five. Those are definitely the elevator buttons. I never would have guessed a ghost had taken them. But there are only two. Maybe there are other ghosts out there with the rest of them. No matter. Let's go to my car. I've got something very interesting that I want to show you. Oh. Oh. Hmm. And right here is the, but I believe he gets a little bunker here. Of course, he's not allowing Luigi to touch it. I always like Luigi and he gets bonds. He's like, don't touch. And Luigi, he's always questioning why. Open says me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think Luigi was kind of a bit, uh, <laughs> uncomfortable with it when he put his hand on him. He don't like that. 
But yep, now once you beat the first boss, the ghost handler, you unlock, he gets little bunker. Here, I believe you can actually buy items. And also Tati get if you're lost. Wow. And this is practically the main menu of the game. The real main menu. <laughs> Welcome to my lab. This is another brilliant invention. A portable laboratory. It's sturdy, safe, and air content conditioned. I always knew I'd need this one day. Good thing I brought it along with me. Right? And... Okay, I just want to point out, this guy has a big gigantic joystick for his chair. I get that that's supposed to make the chair spin, but god dang, if that was actually on a real controller, that would actually... I don't think my, thing, my thumb can even fit on that. I think it'll probably hurt a lot just to push it with a thumb. Hmm, he wants to know what I'm doing this hotel? It's a bit of a long story, but in short, I was tricked. Dun dun dun. I got an adventure from someone claiming to own this hotel. They said they had a precious collection of ghosts gathered from all over the world. No self-respecting ghost researcher would pass up on such an appealing offer, obviously. I accepted their invitation, but when I arrived, the invention was only a ruse. They captured me and took my precious ghost collection. Uh, that includes all the ghosts you'd worked so hard to catch for me before. Even King Boo. Losing him really got under my skin. He's my favorite. Wow. <laughs> and that is the reason why King Boo is escaped. Because Iga just got scammed. He got scammed so hard, it makes it makes players that freaking wish that they got a million dollars from a lottery ticket get scammed harder. That's how he get feels. Oh, that hotel owner. What has she done? Luigi, you're our only hope. Against all odds, without any hesitation, and at any cost, get my ghost collection back. And speaking of ghost collections, why don't you give me all the ghosts you've captured so far? And we're back with the good old classic ghost emptying. Put him inside the vault. Alright, keep on catching these ghosts. Oh, and be sure to come back to the lab. I'll set up the gallery so that way you can view all the ghosts that you've captured. Mm -hmm. What's with that look, Luigi? Am I forgetting something important? Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot about saving your friends and family completely and totally forgot. Yeah, Iga's a savage. A big savage. Look at that face. You gonna tell me that that dude does not look like a savage? He totally forgot about Luigi's brother and his friends. You monster. I should probably put you in that vault for that. You probably get stuck down there eating a lot of freaking wrappers, bubblegum. Choking on bubblegum. Probably even eating everything down there that is not edible. Even the old floor and wall. To help you out, I'll give you one of my greatest inventions yet. The virtual boot. And we have a new calling device, the virtual boot. You know what that means? Ah, it's time to see through. <laughs> This is re pretty much voice chatting before voice chatting was even invented. More like video chatting. It's a state of an art virtual reality device fitted with a fancy red screen. Really cutting edge stuff. And red is all the rage, you know? Wow. Just wait until I finish the marketing materials on this. It'll fly off the shelves. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I'm pretty sure if you sold the virtual boo, Nintendo was gonna copyright you. Instantly. Well, that's if they even care about the virtual boy anymore. You can use the VB to communicate with me anytime! Hey, 
maybe you could we could test out the communication systems later. <laughs> Press plus to look at the to the VB. It will display on your current objective for you. It's quite useful. Oh, and I have one more thing to give you. The very first thing you need to do is install this elevator tracker inside of the elevator for me, okay? Got it. As for what it is, I'll tell you later. Go on and get it installed. Head for the elevator. I'm counting on you, Luigi. We will not let you down. Anyway, this is the real main menu of the game. I know, right? Shocking. That's right. You wanna play multiplayer? You wanna do go to the shop? You wanna check the map? This is the main menu right here. But anyway, for right now, we are going to explore the hotel for a little bit longer and I probably might end the video soon. Who knows? We have been going on for about like a I have been recording this for a good 40 minutes now. Take that spider! Who knew that spiders had dollars inside of them? That's probably why their butts are so big. Ha! <laughs> I like big butts and the kids not lie. Alright, here we go. Mm? As you see here, the elevator tracker has been installed. Now, we can talk to E-Guy inside the elevator. <laughs> Hello, Luigi. It seems like the installation was a success. <laughs> now then, as to what the device actually does, well, it extracts map data about the floors from the elevator. <laughs> then it takes all that data and displays it on the monitor. Isn't that great? Hey, why don't you take those elevator buttons you collected and insert them into the panel? <laughs> and also, here we go. Oh yeah. Here in a snap and a snap. You lost your trap. <gasps> I find that funny how the elevator buttons entered themselves. <laughs> like, it just enters itself. Oh, yeah. Now we can go to floor 1 and floor 5. Oh, which is. Now you're able to view the map of the new floor again. <laughs> There's another surprise, Luigi. That device links with the virtual room. The map data is automatically sent to the VB so you can view the map anytime, anywhere. <laughs> If you open the map from the VB menu, you can check out even more detailed map. Don't forget about it, okay? okay? Let me break it down for you, Luigi. The map is super helpful for exploring new floors. While you're exploring the hotel, you should hunt down the elevator buttons. Definitely. Those buttons will let you reach new floors, ripe for exploration. Oh, and you might find your friends there. <laughs> One more thing before you go, Luigi. We need to do a quick test of the VB's communication system. Open the VB with plus and select the EGAD hotline. I'm counting on you, Luigi. So now, we have the good old... This game pretty much is Metal Gear Solid now. Because now, just like inside of the Metal Gear Solid games, we're able to call the other agents on the snake's codec call. Well, this is pretty much codec call. EGAD's hotline. Now, if you're ever lost, you could call EGAD. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is EGAD, a resident genius. Am I coming through loud and clear? Dude, you can't lie though. When you look at this now, this was pretty much video chatting before video chatting ever existed. This freaking old console is actually the reason why we have video chat. Not true, of course, but you know what I mean. Fantastic. It appears the VB's communication system is working perfectly. That means you can use this content, this contact, me anytime you need. If you feel the need to talk to me, just do what you did to for the test, Luigi. I may be able to offer some advice in a tough situation. Oh. You might also check out the log using the very same system. Let me know if that's why you're calling and you're able to progress and save your progress. Okay, testing my inventions is fun, but we should go back to work. And speaking of work, I have a job for you. So you're able to...
take out the 5F uh, elevator, right? I was actually staying in a room on that floor. There's a briefcase in my room. Could you fetch it for me, Luigi? My room number is... Oh, Blast, what is it? Eh, you've got the map, you'll figure it out. Go up, Luigi. Try to come back alive. <laughs> well, I would come back alive if you gave me your elevator room, but... Well, not elevator room, your room number. Too bad. Anyway, like I said before, this is practically the level select inside this game. Pretty much once you collect them, an elevator button, you put it inside these little elevator slots here, and then you select the floor that you wish to go to. Right now, we don't need to go to floor 1 because that's the foyer, or the grand lobby inside of there. And we're pretty much going to 5F because that's the current floor that Ega wants us to go. So let's go. And yeah, I know, a lot of people freaking said that this is probably the poor system implemented inside this game, that it's kind of freaking dumb that this, this is pretty practically the game's level select. I mean, not judging, people do want exploration inside the game, and they don't like it when you have to select levels in order to do so. But hey, I ain't complaining, I like this system. I love Luigi's Mansion. I love this game. So we're gonna continue playing for a little while. Huh? Mm -hmm. Anyway, new floor here, and I be and I believe. Huh? Oh. Okay, Eged. Huh? Calls immediately. Hello. Ah, Luigi. I just remember something important I neglected to mention. That Polticus G00 of yours has a new feature that I like to call the suction shot. It'll work as a new weapon for you on your adventures. Press Y to fire the rubber plunger, and you can stick to a flat surface and smooth surfaces. And if you use the Portugal's G00 to suck up the rope, you can then press A, and you can tug on objects and pull them off as a powerful slam to break them. You should start shooting it at things right away. Practice makes perfects, after all. Oh, and don't forget to get my briefcase, Luigi. <laughs> oh, bye bye. And now we have a new move, the suction shot. This is a new move that was introduced inside the series. It is a relatively cool mechanic. I mean, you're able to pick up objects and slam them. This, this makes it easy to actually explore new areas. Or better yet, you know, move to new locations. I definitely like the suction ship, especially since, you know, that explains Luigi's freaking grab inside of Smash Ultimate. They planned Smash Ultimate way ahead before Luigi's Mansion 3 was ever revealed. Jeez Louise, Miyamoto. You definitely got the stuff, buddy. Anyway, let's continue on here. Now we look for Professor Ikehead's briefcase. Oh. <laughs> And, of course, as always, we have ghosts on the floor, so now we have to constantly deal with them. But don't worry, your boy's got this. This is not Ega's room, by the way. I'm just exploring all the rooms, just for some extra move. And better yet, just to make sure that I've gotten everything, you know? You can't always be too careful. Anyway... Yay, a spider. And also, you're probably wondering what these gutters are. For those of you who probably have played the game, you probably already know. For those who don't, that's a Gooigi oh. section. We'll talk about that a bit later. Hello. <laughs> Jeez Louise, I can't even tell if I want to call this a walkthrough or a playthrough. You know what, we'll call this a walkthrough. Oh, shoot all this place. There's a lot of rodents on the floor here. I don't like them. Who likes rats? I mean, I know a certain rat who will probably like rats, but other than that rat, I don't like any other rat. That's the only rat that I'll accept as my friend. <laughs> and anyway, we got ourselves a little gem here. You think we could grab and take it out, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are dead wrong. 
Wow. We must find another way to grab it. Which will come back for it later because right now, main focus. Just gonna be finding he gets room. And also the shock we wow. place. Huh, a jack in a box and it actually is moving. Ugh. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I, you can tell that uh, developers really like rats. Ow. I got hit by a rat. Ow, man. Dang it. Whoa. This and I want to get a future reminder. Huh? I probably may rage during this no. playthrough. There are some bosses in this game that we're gonna encounter later on that are uh, literally a pain to kill. And when that happens, you cut there, you'll probably see me lose my cool in seconds. Alright, we're just gonna shut this one up normally because a little classic Luigi's Mansion. There we go, getting my vacuum cleaner. But yeah, I'm gonna encounter bosses oh, yeah. that are gonna be a pain to kill. And I may die this playthrough. If I die a lot, uh, I am sorry. But if I am. Um, but I can't control it, you know what I mean? So, uh, just be mindful of that. Wow. Maybe I should probably make a rage completion. Oh. Then probably people will laugh their butts off at me raging. It'll be hilarious as heck. Oh. Oh but anyway, God. this is the room we need to go in, and as you see there, we have our second boss. <laughs> this is the ghost maid. I just like to call her the ghost maid. <laughs> I guess if I know their names. Anyway, you're probably wondering why this is a boss. That's why. Okay, and as you saw there, the maid has eaten the Professor E. Gat's briefcase. And now, we have to find that maid. Which is something that E. Gat's gonna explain in a sec after I defeat this. Packs of ghosts. Here we go. Time to party hard, Luigi. Don't touch me. Here we go. A twofer. Nice. And we're just gonna suck this ghost up normally. Yeah, prepare to also prepare for me to also say suck a lot in this playthrough. I don't care how it sounds, I don't care what it sounds like. Just don't take it out of context. At all. Please. Don't. Anyway. We, we're gonna know that we're gonna have to find this ghost. She, she went in this room. Okay, and what you wanna do is shut the plunger shot on her, and then slam the living heck out of her. Okay, for those who probably are wondering the boss, we are pretty much just following this ghost lady's tracks around, room from room. And, oh my god, Egad, you call out the worst time when I'm explaining something. Well, anyway, while this is the case, we shoot the shucks and shot on her. And then, we vacuum it up and slam her around. Simple boss, right? Well, yeah, that's if you're actually good at aiming. By the way, Luigi, here's a fun bit of trivia for you. Every time you go through a door, all of your progress up to that point is saved automatically. But it might not be if you move too quickly from door to door to door to door, you get the idea. I say waiting 10 seconds should be enough. You know what they say, patience is virtue. Keep up the good work. Goodbye. Now anyway, back to uh... Back to um, the good old boss rush. There she is right there. There we go. 
slam dunk, baby. Oh yeah. And then she was able to escape. Now we can't go that way, sadly. We're gonna have to go around and find another way inside of there. Right there, we have a ghost playing with toothpaste that's ugly and disgusting. I wouldn't want to say why it's ugly or disgusting, I just want to say... And there's Mrs. Ghost Ride right there. Slam, dunk, and this is it. There we go. We beat the second boss. Pretty simple. Not that hard of the boss. Anyway, that's one of the easiest bosses as well. Let's return Professor yeah. Gat's briefcase and be on our way. Nice. Hello. And the elevator oh. button. Daddy. It's three. Yeah. Luigi. Loogie Baloogie. Oh, yeah. That's your name. <laughs> it seems that you acquired a new elevator button. Along with my briefcase. Wait a minute, why is Luigi talking like he's a secret agent? Where's the virtual boo at? Is it in his pocket? Well done, Luigi. Come back to the lab. Let's go, good old boy Luigi. You're better than Mario anyway. He's been captured. You, on the other hand, you're a survivor. But anyway, yeah, th that's one of the easiest bosses as well. It's not gonna be until about maybe the fifth or sixth boss where the game starts to test the patience a bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, this game, yeah. I tell you, this goes really fast. It really quickly goes from kid mode into adult mode. And that's saying something. Oh, yeah. That's like. That's just death right there, bro. Luigi, it looks like you're able to go to 3, 4, 3F now. But before you head there, bring back my suitcase. To the lab, I need it. Of course. And we're not gonna go to 3F in this video. Sadly, after we return his briefcase, we're gonna end off the video. Because, uh, don't wanna be recording for too long now. And also, I need to charge my Pro Controller because it's. It probably might die soon. Unless it probably starts blinking now. Who knows? But anyway. Let's continue onward. <laughs> Professor Eget, I got something special for you. It's a briefcase. It's like what SpongeBob says. Oh, good. Well, at least you didn't forget your briefcase. <laughs> Welcome back, oh, Luigi. My briefcase, chop chop. Okay. Jeez, Louise. Uh -huh. You could have at least said please. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, hey, this, this is what I wanted. 